okay hi guys welcome back to my channel if you guys picked pile number one this is your pile if you need a personal reading from me if you have any questions go ahead and hit up the email in the description box and i will get back to you guys as soon as possible so if you picked pile one this is your pile today's pick a card is on how does the opposite sex perceive you of course we have major arcanas to basically tell you the overall energy regarding this topic and then we also have the minor arcanas to basically tell you um extra details and of course oracle cards at the end so first of all how are people perceiving you with the devil card anytime i see the devil card um now <laughs> So yeah, I'm hearing like intoxicating. So like you could be extremely beautiful. You could be extremely um, attractive here, okay? I'm definitely getting something about the body. If you're a guy, I'm definitely getting like abs or someone is extremely ripped, okay? So I'm getting like people get extremely um, attracted by your physique. I'm also getting something about shorts, okay? but i'm definitely getting the body okay but i'm definitely getting like intoxicating it may even people may even be like a little intimidated to talk to you or like um have a conversation with you because they find you to be they they find you to be so attractive okay this is also um the card of temptation for me the devil of course you could be a capricorn but um i'm definitely getting <laughs> again i'm hearing capricorn in the 11th house i don't know why i'm hearing that but um I'm hearing in Vedic, Capricorn 11th house in Vedic. So that would make you a Cancer in this 11th house. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I'm also getting um, something about um, humiliation. Okay, I don't know what that means. Like people could be afraid to be like humili humiliated by you or like that you're gonna turn them down. But I'm also getting like, I was getting the love at first sight thing, but I'm getting, you know how you like have love at first sight and um, I'm getting, but this is like based on attraction. So of course it's not as healthy as like you falling in love at first sight with someone, okay? Just based off of like their auric field. But I'm definitely getting like um very tempting person here, okay? We have the Tower card here, Aquarius Energy. I'm def definitely getting you have Saturn highly attri um, attributed or placed in your chart. Um, if not, you just come off as that, this type of energy here, okay? But with the Tower here, it's like you're, you almost shock people, okay? I'm getting you have this very wow factor to you. It could, I don't know what it is. It could be anything, okay, guys? It could be your hair, okay? I'm getting something about red hair, okay? This could also be, I'm hearing fiery eyes or fiery complexion. Okay, I'm just getting you look very exotic or you look very different. Okay, we have the temperance card here, Sagittarius energy here. It's almost as if like I'm hearing like you're so perfect or like you're too perfect. But yeah, here's that, um, those two angel things again. So, um, fallen angel and then a, re a regular angel. I'm also hearing it's something about like what's inside of you that people are kind of attracted to i'm hearing like you have like this very dual type of energy here okay we talked about this last week okay so i'm definitely getting like right now it's like you're very tempered or you're like come off as this very serene type of person so i'm getting like people kind of like want to corrupt you and then finally we have the high priest here so definitely taurus energy here um so i'm definitely getting um you may attract a lot of aquarius capricorn energy Energies because like I said I'm getting um and I don't know what it's called it's kind of like where you have like an obsession with some type of thing about a certain person place or thing here but I'm getting this is like it's almost as if like you attract Aquarius and you can you attract Saturn energy so daddy energy you could come off very daddy ish okay so I'm definitely getting like if you're a guy I'm getting you come off extremely daddy ish okay so you also may attract like women who um really want you to take care of them or they have like father problems and vice versa for women like mother like men who have like mothering issues here so i'm definitely getting your you're very like mothering or you come off very um authoritative okay because of course the high priest is rules regulations and things of that nature okay but these are also morals okay 
so we have the ten of wands and we have the six of pentacles so yeah i'm definitely getting your attraction is like I'm getting beauty is a gift and beauty is a curse here. So I'm getting like a lot of attraction. People are extremely attracted to getting like they're willing to give you whatever. But um, I have we have the two of cups here and then we also have the three of cups here. OK. I'm also getting like a lot of meetings or you may come across a lot of friends. So a lot of times your friends may actually like you or even be in love with you here. OK, because I'm getting like um, with your close connections, like you, you they gain some type of more intimate vibe or feel from you. So it's like, yeah, the queen of pinnacles people see you as this very mothering type of energy here but i'm also getting like children like something about like children people want to breed with you okay so i'm definitely getting i'm also getting like commitment here i'm getting like people see you as like you will be like a very fun spouse or you will be someone that they would like show off i'm definitely getting trophy wife type of energy here okay i'm also getting like someone wants six kids or some shit yeah six of cups someone has like wants six kids all right but um scorpio energy or this could also be like very childlike you come off very childlike here all right or um innocent but we have the high priestess of water here so again um cancer energy or the fourth house is very sp specific to you or like the mothering you're very mothering to people to people okay we have movement okay so you may actually come into contact with this is actually how you heal as well here so you may actually come into contact with a lot of dark people and this sounds like very shitty like people who have like mothering issues abandonment issues things like that but i'm getting it's like because of your aura okay um so yeah we have deceit and then we have confidence i'm also getting like something about like yeah a lot of people that you meet like they may come off extremely confident or like like they have all their shit together and then like after like a couple days or a couple months like you realize that they don't so yeah that can be where that um five of cups energy kind of comes from within like the whole experience so you're like kind of like regretful or you feel like a little disappointed in like the connections that you build okay so let's keep going Okay, so for pile number one, how does the opposite sex perceive them? I'm also getting like, if you're a man, you're very charismatic or you're very charming. Okay, so I'm getting like, um, I'm also hearing dom dominant. Okay, so very dominant person. Okay, of course, if you have Scorpio on your chart, Scorpio is ruled by Mars, but that's one of those like more emotional dominance okay so yeah the six of pentacles i'm definitely getting you're very gifted as well okay like extremely gifted okay but let's see we have the chariot we have the eight of swords the five of cups and then the knight of cups okay i don't know if i want to take that we have the six of pentacles, six of wands, judgment, and the two of pentacles. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm getting. You could be, I'm getting you, you're very multi, you're multi-talented as well. People see that about you. I'm getting you have a knack for um, basically inheriting money here, okay? So of course, the devil card, that could be the industry here. But I'm definitely getting like, um, I don't know why I'm hearing marginalized, but I'm getting a performer, okay? Um... I'm also hearing something about a model here, but you have the ability to manifest money through your presence or just like your aura, your disposition here. So I'm getting like you attract. People find you to be very attractive because one, you're very gifted or you, you know how to kind of like sell yourself. That sounds fucked up, but I'm not meaning like that. I'm meaning like. Say, for instance, you have a product, you know how to market. You are a good marketer or you're a good investment. Or you're a master at something, okay? People find that to be very attractive, okay? This could also be like um, two of pinnacles is like managing, okay? So you could be a manager or something or you could do multiple things, okay? What's the six of pinnacles? So yeah, we have the five of swords, one more seven of cups. I'm also getting a lot of jealousy, envy around you here, okay? Because of your gifts, because of um, what you're attracting. One more ten of wands. Yeah, I'm getting like, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting like you could get a lot of attention online or you have a huge following or you, you're growing a following here or a lot of people are about to start following you, okay? What's the six of wands? I don't know what this has to do with why people like you. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm getting. Like, I don't know what the hell y'all are doing here. 
okay but i'm definitely getting that's how the opposite sex perceives you this it's like it's two ends of the spectrum so one spectrum okay they perceive you as like this very mothering like loving individual like yeah you come off two ways to people okay okay very gifted very talented and then another side of you is like extremely like confident okay or with the seven of swords and the confidence coming out in the oracle card this could even be like people feeling like you're too cocky or something like that but with the tower here i'm getting you're not i'm getting like it's because you get a lot of attention i'm also getting like a viral video like something is really about to go viral i'm getting two to six days or something's about to influx yeah the magician but i'm definitely getting your magical as shit like that's what it is or someone's a magician a musician this is your calling i'm getting like a viral video you could do music okay i'm definitely getting like yeah four of cups five of pentacles here i'm also getting like people um like people come towards you because they feel like okay you're just like the standard person and then they get to know you and then they get kind of jealous because they feel like you can manifest or that you can like be more successful than them okay so very low vibrational energy what's the judgment but i'm getting a lot of these people are from a past life or something regarding a past life for you okay what's the judgment card but uh, yeah i'm getting whatever you're doing here i'm getting like you can make shit come from like thin air i'm also getting like say for instance you started a platform i'm getting like you can like manifest a lot of attraction very fast here i'm getting you have a craft i'm getting two very specific type of gifts so yeah this six of pentacles gifts this is kind of like something that you're naturally gifted for i'm also getting resourcefulness so i'm getting you're very resourceful okay you know how to take care of yourself you know how to manifest okay so yeah i'm getting like i'm also getting like you know how to outsmart someone here just period okay what's the judgment card yeah seven of swords and then nine of pentacles yeah i'm also getting like there's been multiple people who come to you and they kind of like want to slow you down or like control you here all right but yeah i'm getting you're gonna realize something very important about yourself okay this could also be something about your attraction Okay, in your beauty. So I'm getting like if you're like if you don't feel attractive, it's harder for you to manifest. So there may be like people who come towards you who like kind of drain all your energy so that like then you don't have anything to give back to yourself. So yeah, ten of swords. Okay. But I'm definitely getting that's gonna come to an end here. But yeah, like I said, very um People are extremely attracted to you, okay? They find you extremely attractive. All right, so pile number one, this is your pile. I hope you guys okay hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you picked pile number two this is your pile of course if you need a personal reading if you have any questions for me go ahead and hit up the um email in the description box and i will email you guys back as soon as possible um today we have a pick a card on i'll be forgetting y'all Today we have a pick a card on how the other sex perceives you or the opposite sex perceives you, All right? So if you guys pick the High Priestess card, if you are new here, we have the Major Arcanas to tell you basically the overall energies based on this topic, okay? And then we have the Minor Arcanas to tell you small little nuances and details as well, okay? And then the Oracle cards will be right at the end. Now. First of all, for you guys, what I'm getting, how the opposite sex perceives you, um, this is already going to be a spiritual message, I can already tell. So, you guys are extremely powerful, and as soon as I said that, the phone started ringing. So, yeah, what I'm getting is you're answering the call, you've answered the call, you're going closer and closer to the expansion and the evolution in your destiny here. Okay, I'm getting like there may be people trying to distract you and things of that nature here, but this could even be like people trying to figure out how to like, like, it's not like I'm hearing it's not malicious. It's just like I'm hearing like people may even be afraid for you. OK, but I'm definitely getting um, the way that the opposite sex perceives you. OK, I'm definitely getting for men. Women perceives you as very strong emotionally, physically. I'm also getting someone could have lost their mother. Their mother passed away. OK, but I'm getting like um, you really handle that very well, women. Um, I'm also getting like you may attract women who naturally just want to mother you because of this factor, okay? Or someone could have grew, grew up without a mother figure or um, I'm, I'm also hearing someone's mother could have been on, um, I'm hearing alcoholic, okay? Or drug abuse, okay? But I'm definitely getting like for women here, also men perceive you to be extremely strong okay everything that you've been through the things that have basically been thrown at you i'm getting you've withstood what's 
I don't know why I'm fucking over my words lately, but basically you would stand the trials, right? So very powerful people here, very, um, I'm hearing like um, endurance, okay? So definitely, most of you guys in this pile have went through um, the spiritual rebirth or you guys have went through the um, dark nights of the souls here. But I'm definitely getting like, um, we have high priestess here, Pisces energy. You guys could of course be very psychic. If you guys are, of course, pain breeds intuition, psychic abilities, because once you like go through experiences and things like that and you learn, okay, because um i feel like that's important with this because with the wheel of fortune coming here it's like something's like going over and over but i'm getting like something was like in rotation like it could have been heartbreak pain all that stuff deceit trauma and i'm getting something like finally stopped or you finally like like had time to like slow down and heal yourself but with the high priestess here i'm definitely getting like um your intuition or whatever you've um, been through has built your intuition or your psychic gifts. Because I'm getting at a point in time, you probably didn't even know you were psychic. You didn't even know that you were spiritually gifted or anything of that nature. I'm also getting you're very powerful as well. So that also reminds me of that kind of visualization of like, you know, um, I think I mentioned this in a video last week or the week before of a warrior spirit being buried like beneath like many, many layers. And then like you have to dig all those fucking layers, right? so that type of energy but we have the strength card leo energy as well so i'm definitely getting um power here okay people consider you to be powerful or people consider you to be a very powerful um psychic okay this could also be very strong intuition okay i'm also getting with the strength card it's like <laughs> you know how usually people want people to shut up people want you to speak it's like this strength card, it's like she's opening his mouth, like speak, like, you know, like spit it out. Like they want, they like, people want to know more about you. You're very mysterious. Okay. We have the will of fortune. I'm also getting people want to know your birth chart. What about your birth chart? Are they trying to find out like some type of attribute about you? I'm definitely getting a birth chart. I'm also getting there's some type of attribute about you that makes you look like a, um, a celebrity or a star or very royal because of course with the strength card this is very powerful bloodline or this is a royal bloodline here okay i'm also getting someone's going to be on television or something is going to be televised okay so whatever you're doing you can make it to the news or something like that okay but i'm definitely getting destiny okay so yeah i'm also getting um <laughs> i'm getting like if you're a psychic or if you read natal charts or something like that, or if you're into the esoteric knowledges and studies, fields, whatever, I'm getting like, at first people may have not believed you, but I'm getting something that you predicted is actually about to come to wit to fruition, okay? I'm also getting with the, or already has, with the Empress card being here, you are embodying your highest energies here, okay? Or this is what you're going into with the death card. This could also be like you trying to build your image back up, but I'm definitely getting a huge trend transformation that people have seen you going through okay so i'm getting like growth okay so people see you as you have a lot of potential and you also have more growing to do meaning like you still have room to like do more and expand okay so we have the seven of wands and we have the three of pentacles all right so i was also getting something about that now because you are so powerful because you are very psychic right i'm getting a lot of people that come towards you they may actually not even be like um in your league okay so i'm hearing like the people they may actually think that they're out of your league right so with the high priestess card coming here this is actually the first message i got when i actually laid the cards out previously um this is a mistress to me. I'm getting a lot of people that come towards you. They actually may want to just make you their mistress or someone on the side. They fantasize about you just being like that person because I'm getting like they don't feel as if they can provide you with much. The three of pentacles to me, okay, this is building, okay, but I'm getting like these people, they may actually already be in a relationship. So I'm getting like a lot of people who are in relationships really want you to like they want to know more about you for some reason okay yeah it's like i'm hearing something about also like you're helping people change perceptions like say for instance you take care of yourself and you care about things like maybe more than i want to say like society so um kind of like how we talked about the virgin mary thing yesterday so 
that's just one type of topic but you know people respect that so you respect you respect yourself other people respect you but it's almost as if like i can't even explain this energy it's kind of weird so yeah people like choose to put you in a third party i'm getting like people are so excited to, like when they feel like they're like when people meet you it's like so exciting for them or like when people come into contact with you but i'm getting like it's hard for people to build go from the three of pentacles which is like a meeting till the ten of pentacles okay because i'm getting the ten of pentacles you're like uh, the ten of pentacles all by yourself okay but i'm definitely getting like people they'll put you in a third party but they may be slow to commit or they may be slow to do this forever okay because but i'm just getting because a lot of these people are knights you see all these knights so i'm getting like people may feel like you need rescuing <laughs> i'm getting like it's like the whole group or like it's like everyone they feel like you need rescuing like yeah i'm also getting different races okay all the races Right. so we have the warrior spirit so of course yeah the warrior spirit and then aries energy but very confident um self-starter as well all right you could also own your own business but we have loyalty we have understanding success and then the high priestess of air i was also getting you guys probably signed up with this contract card this is a contract card to me or something being signed i don't know i'm hearing an, affid an affidavit you did something to where there was a shift in your destiny okay or you did something okay you guys actually go together with pile number one but you did something to where um i'm getting aries energy from this very strong i'm also getting air so this could be libra aries i'm also getting aquarius from this but i'm getting like you're a scholar you're meant to be teaching or you're meant to be using your gifts on a large scale with that ten of pentacles um energy there all right so i'm getting like you could have signed up before you reincarnated or whatever you believe in to actually be a mistress or to actually not be in a um long-term commitment i'm getting like most of your relationships are only going to last like um three years max okay because i'm getting like you're meant to teach or you're not meant to be held up or held back okay so let's go ahead and get on with that so yeah we have the knight of pentacles i'm also getting paced so someone i'm definitely getting taurus energy but i'm definitely getting if something has been slow there's about to be a shift okay so i'm definitely getting there has been a shift in your destiny or your birth chart is not the same so yeah I'm getting that um spiritual death again okay so for pile number two how does the opposite sex perceive them yeah people are extremely attracted to you here definitely getting that intoxicating energy as well all right but i'm also getting um yeah eight of swords and page of cups i'm getting like once someone meets you it's like they're stuck or they're like mesmerized on you type thing yeah king of swords but you're <laughs> you're really detached with the king of swords and the eight of cups it's like you don't really like attach your energy to anything but i'm getting like people like they get almost codependent on you i'm also getting mesmerizing you're very mesmerizing what's the devil i'm literally getting like this is one of those things to where like someone's like watching tv all day and then they like get fat because like there's their favorite shows on like it's so interesting the devil came out in the last pile but the devil they had like they're like chiseled right but this one it's like so that one was more of a like um you're so mesmerizing you make me just want to get up and do shit but this one is like more of a like like you they can't take their eyes off of you like they can't get out like say for instance you were sitting in a chair with someone like even if they have to pee like they wouldn't even go type energy yeah the lovers really get <laughs> jeez okay so we have the three of wands and then the eight of pentacles i'm also getting music okay so i'm getting there is a musician in the distance or that you follow online here or a lot of people in the industry are attracted to you okay because of course i'm getting your gifted okay so yeah the empress i'm getting you're the empress here okay what's the king of wands yeah i'm also getting a lot of people want to work with you rather I'm also getting if you're a male i'm getting the industry wants to work with you or you're going to get some type of you're going to get a confirmation of this or there someone's going to send you a message okay we have the high priestess and then the eight of cups yeah
Hmm. Yeah, I'm also getting like, we have 88 here. Yeah, I was definitely getting that. It's almost as if like once you have sex with someone, I don't know what this is about, but it's like people just want to have sex with you. They just want to see what it's like. Okay, but I'm getting like, you know that and then you end up leaving or some shit. Okay, yeah, four swords. <laughs> getting something about a Pisces in your auric field. But yeah, I'm getting, you don't know that there is a shift or, you, or someone doesn't know that there is a shift. This could have been like a fire sign that you guys are dealing with. Okay, we have Pisces, Capricorn, fire. <laughs> what's the devil so someone like really oof, for men i don't really like talking about this but i'm definitely getting a big private part women feel that very much what's the devil yeah the damn the emperor five cups i'm also getting like you guys have someone like in a distance who feel like they basically own you or something because the devil and the emperor that's like someone feels like they own you just period one more but i'm getting they don't but i'm also getting like you have like this very you're you're it's like you're very dominant like you're very very dominant but it's like very attractive type thing yeah ace of cups nine of wands and then the strength okay so i'm getting like there's people just perceive you they may be a little irritated by your intuition okay because it's like you always kind of like find out the truth about whatever someone's doing here okay what's the eight of swords and the ace of swords yeah seven of wands yeah yeah so this is what i'm getting you're gonna know this not this is not for everyone but i'm definitely getting someone's contract or your soul contract has changed with the ace of swords and the nine of pentacles you're meant to be single because you're supposed to be doing something i'm getting speaking lecture and talking okay something with the sword but i'm getting there's some type there's some type of information you know some type of truth you know because i finally figured out what the sword means okay and i'm getting only you can do this so you have to do this okay so yeah with that judgment card yeah i'm getting oh the judgment didn't even come out but yeah i'm getting a call or some shit but um i'm definitely getting like you were attached to someone very toxic you thought this person was the emperor yeah let me see what's the emperor five of cups but like they disappointed you or some shit okay yeah but somebody was lying seven swords yeah two of wands the judgment there's the judgment and then the nine of wands yeah i'm getting like you thought it was this earth sign i'm getting or this fire sign but it's not okay yeah the magician yeah somebody was like manipulating the shit out of you so you walked away but it's something that you did when you walked away from this person i'm getting some type of strategy that you implemented and i'm getting within this strategy okay um i'm also getting something about the moon or the full moon within this strategy i'm getting there is a change yeah with the magician okay this could even be someone doing magic on you and then like kind of really backfired i'm getting like this person basically freed you yeah i'm getting a very strong connection that is has been broken okay yeah death i'm also getting something about sex you stopped having sex with this person and it cut off the connection Okay, because it's almost as if like someone would leave you hanging and then it's like or somebody would reject you. But then like when they feel like you was getting too far, they will come back in with this ace of wands and the, the page of cups. Okay, I'm also getting if you're a male here, I'm getting something about your sex. I'm getting like that. I'm hearing I've, I've heard about you, like someone's heard about your sex or something. So like women, like people will literally come towards you just because they've heard about it. Okay, nine of cups, the queen of pentacles. But yeah. I'm also getting like, I don't know, it's just a whole bunch of going on, but someone that you left, they're toxic as shit. They're not the one, okay? Um, they're basically wary, but I'm getting you have a whole new contract, okay? I'm also getting like if you have not went through a spiritual awakening, you're about to go through one, or you're actually probably going through one as we speak. All right? So pile number two, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys picked pile number three, the star card. This is your pile. Of course, if you have any questions for me, if you need a um, personal reading, then go ahead and hit up my email. Um, and I guess that's it. All right. So today's pickle card is on 
what does the opposite sex feel about you okay so i'm definitely getting a very more confident um healing type of energy from you guys um definitely getting very blue blue type of energy so you could definitely be an indigo child okay i'm also hearing the year of the dragon and star seeds okay so you guys pick the star card if you're new to this channel we have the major arcanas to basically tell you the overall energies of this reading okay and then we have the minor arcanas to tell you smaller details and nuances and along with the oracle cards that be read will be read at the end all right so you guys had the star energy overall people see you as a healer a star okay very healing okay or very very gifted okay or very talented okay so i'm hearing the gifted and the talented okay you could be they actually have classes for this i'm also hearing performing art school all right so um yeah we have the star card i'm also hearing juilliard so someone could definitely be a dancer or i'm also hearing a musician but i'm hearing exceptional gifts and talents all right um I don't know why I'm hearing Grand Theft Auto, but whatever. But we have the Aquarius energy. We have the Hangman, all right? So we have Pisces energy as well. This could be um, enlightenment. Some people may see you as very enlightened here. But with the Hangman here, there could have been a delay, okay? So if you know you're extremely gifted, if you know you're extremely talented, you're not a star yet, you're not world-renowned, everyone doesn't know your name, you're not popular, people are not, like, dying because you're here, okay? I'm kidding. But um, I'm getting it's coming, okay? If there is a delay, the delay is about to be over. But yeah, I'm definitely getting world renowned. We have the Aquarius energy here, Pisces energy here. But I'm definitely getting um, you are tapped into the um, higher consciousness, but you're tapped into the masses, okay? Of course, Aquarius rules us all, okay? Or the whole group. So in Pisces, I'm definitely getting like there's something that you're about to do because you're tapped into the consciousness, okay? On a world stage. I'm also getting those four corners again someone has like the four corners in like their birth chart here okay so of course the world card this is a birth chart but i'm getting a new birth chart as well for you okay i'm hearing aquarius new moon so you you your, your new moon sign is aquarius now so i'm getting pisces sun aquarius moon exactly that's what i'm hearing exactly <laughs> okay but yeah the world so i'm getting like you're definitely about to take your place in the world here okay i'm also getting something about avatar so i'm getting you're gonna there's like three other people just like you i'm getting across the world though okay or something about the world we have the emperor card and then we have the magician so what i'm getting is um if you are doing healing work you could be stepping into this um this emperor type of position or this person the emperor is someone who runs an empire but these two cards together is extremely powerful this is aries energy but this is someone who has grown from the magician okay it's still a major arcana here okay this is aries energy i already said that <laughs> but it's two aries so i understand it's doubled so i'm getting you have double energy okay or double of something there's a, a double attribute that makes you perfect for some type of position okay so i'm getting you have i'm getting check your aries placements okay but i'm getting you were a baby or you were growing here you could have had a, a, an establishment but with the emperor card this is owning like a huge piece of land so yeah there's only four founders in the world i'm getting like of course if you're the the magician this is someone who has like um aries in their fourth house we know that fourth house is ruled by your lineage your mother where you come from this is someone who comes from emperors this also this is also someone i learned something new guys <laughs> for my people who are of um I'm sorry i don't know how to say this whatever i learned that the emperor comes from chinese descent so you may learn something about your lineage i'm getting chinese or dynasty um there's some type of dynasty era, era but i'm definitely getting like the emperor so like the pharaoh or if you were a pharaoh or your father was or your lineage is so i'm getting there that's why you're gonna get this position or that's why you're being trained for a specific position here but yeah i'm definitely getting that's not for everyone here 
that's a specific message but i'm getting with the magician here okay you guys are extremely authoritative like people see you as a boss just period like you're a boss like men women they all see you as a boss they also see you as extremely gifted and talented it's almost as if people see you like very dynamic two different sides on one side you're very healing very enlightened very to yourself meditative and on the other side you're like a boss ass nigga or a boss b whatever or a boss person okay sorry i'm trying to work on my language lately and then we have the full card and then the justice yeah i'm definitely getting an initiation into a new contract so i'm definitely getting like yeah something's been delayed because i'm getting you had to i'm getting there's tests that you had to do in order for you to be initiated into this contract here so i'm getting a contract is about to be presented to you yeah page of cups the contract all right so um let's look at the, the minor arcanas but i'm getting like people think a lot i'm getting like everyone that you meet they're gonna have a different type of um connotation on you i'm also getting your justice i'm getting a, the human form of justice you see this person like they're walking someone's like walking justice so i'm getting different people are going to have different type of um i guess perceptions on you because they're not going to meet the same person because say for instance someone is meant to be someone is going out doing shitty shit in the world they may may meet you and you you meet them at a very shitty time and like you like they're talking to you or something i can't explain it but i'm getting your human mirror in some type of way all right um i'm also getting you're going to a tree you're going to start attracting okay i'm getting at first because I'm getting you're going into a new contract, very spiritual message. You guys could probably resonate with pile number two. I'm getting at first, you guys are attracting a lot of, I'm hearing ditzy people. I'm so sorry. Or people who are like, like very, I don't know why I'm, because Pisces, they are people pleasers. I'm so sorry. But a lot of times Pisces are people pleasers. I'm also getting like emotional manipulators. Like you could be dealing with like very soft people. But I'm getting now that this energy, I'm getting your, your, pulling in the energy that you want so now you're meeting like boss figures or people who have like shit going or people i'm getting like lawyers and shit like lawyers and like entrepreneurs and ceos and shit like that okay so definitely getting that we have the eight of swords and then we have the page of um wands and then the ace of pentacles yeah with the eight of swords here i'm definitely getting a new contract there's no way that you're going to be able to get out of this i'm also getting world renowned someone's going to be world renowned i'm getting like if you don't want to do this like i'm getting you're going to have to yeah page of wands i mean you're a prodigy or you're made specifically for this fucking job yeah nine of swords wary okay nine of pentacles yeah so this may wear you guys that you may be single all your life. I'm getting your not. I'm actually getting your life is going to be extremely like fun with the magician card here. I'm getting you can you can do anything you want with the, the magician. They make shit happen. OK, so I'm getting like wherever you want to go, you can go. I'm getting that's a part of your contract. I'm getting you're not meant to be held down. Like, yeah, five of cups, this may make you sad, but ace of wands. I'm also getting something regarding a sexual encounter here. There's someone in your past, Pisces or an Aquarius energy, okay, that got a sexual that got a sexual STD. Okay. Yeah, two of pentacles. They were juggling you and they met someone online and that person had STD. All right. I don't know what what this has to do with you guys. Don't let this person back in. Yeah, page of cups. This person may come towards you, all right, and act like everything's cool. But I'm getting snot. Yeah, ace of wands. This is the truth. Damn, y'all. It came out again. Like, it came out in, like, both. Like, both. So, that means be weary of this person, okay? Yeah, 88. I'm also getting, like, someone is a master manipulator, okay? Not magician. Manipulator, all right? So, we're going to pull these at the end. Yeah, someone's coming towards you, but I'm hearing white blood cells. They have white blood cells. It's a water sign, okay? Um, this person could have Aquarius moon, okay? So, yeah, but I'm getting, they're trying to transfer it to you, but that cycle's over, okay? Something's going to happen to where you can't even, yeah. So, for pile number three, how does the opposite sex feel about them? I'm also getting aloof, detached, but I'm hearing that's kind of how you have to be to do whatever job you're supposed to be doing. So you may come off very aloof or detached as well, okay? So yeah, nine of pentacles, okay? So first of all, I'm definitely getting you are the model type. You look like a model or something. I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing your figure. You have a very nice figure, okay? I'm also getting something about earth or snow white. So I'm definitely getting you have some type of connection with um, 
um, people. I'm also hearing dwarf syndrome. Someone could be extremely short. I'm also getting very short people and very tall people in this pile. All right. But yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Magician. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting a new, a new position that you're about to be getting here. Just period. That on that. I'm also getting there's someone who wants to take action on you. They want to they be in a relationship with you. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I see you have your shit together. But I'm really not getting this. I'm getting a new position. Okay, what's the page of Pentacles? I'm also getting an addition. Okay, you've been added to some type of family. Yeah, Three of Wands. One more. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting like... Something's gonna not gonna take long at all to grow. I'm getting like three months. Something's gonna take like three months to grow. Or I'm getting like if you're pregnant, I'm getting this child is gonna help you. Like I'm getting a lot of money coming in. I'm getting like once the child turns like three months, three to six months, like you're gonna have a whole bunch of like money coming in. Yeah, on rotation. But I'm definitely getting something about your destiny. What's the four of wands? But people see you as the wife type of energy. Okay, definitely. They, they see like you are someone who can make shit happen. They want to marry you. Yeah, ten of wands. One more six of wands. The magician. Okay, so I feel like I didn't shuffle these good enough. Because this is like literally this the exact same energy. So what I'm getting is there could be someone basically trying to mimic you. Yeah, five of swords. This person, they're very jealous of your gifts. Okay, I'm getting, but this person's still the page and you're the queen. You've grown to the queen now, the queen of pentacles. So I'm getting like, yeah, someone's definitely trying to steal something from you. What's the magician? Because this exact same order came out in someone else's energy. Yeah, five of swords, one more, and then the king of swords. Yeah, there's someone around you that is extremely jealous of how skilled you are. I'm getting you're extremely skilled here. I'm getting like men could be jealous of like your ability to manifest and things of that nature. So for the opposite sex, men are kind of jealous of you and your intellect, okay, and your abundance, okay? Yeah, queen of wands, okay, the tower, yeah, I'm getting like you embody different energies or you know how to manage you could even be a manager okay so i'm getting a new position yeah you could be raised to manage your position over this man and he's upset about it okay and then for guys so yeah i'm getting like this is what i'm getting you have some type of gift that usually guys embody and if you're a man you have some type of gift that usually women embody so women could be jealous of you and then vice versa you guys get it but i'm getting like for men this could be like you being in some type of feminine feel so say for instance you do tarot and you're like fucking a fucking beast at it right and then say for instance like you're a woman and like you're into like business and you're like a fucking mogul oprah or some shit that's like what you consider it what's the page of pentacles for your wands so i'm getting like yeah i'm also hearing like i don't know i'm hearing switched at birth genocide and like something about switching genders or something but yeah nine of swords yeah I'm getting like men are actually worried about your potential or where you'll be in the future. I'm getting like you are going to be extremely successful or you have the potential to manifest however much success that you want. You just have to realize it. But yeah, I'm also getting you always outsmart them. I'm almost I'm almost getting like men try to kind of like dumb you down and you end up outsmarting them type shit. Yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, someone people are afraid of what you're going to do in the future one more yeah nine of pentacles i'm getting self-made millionaire yeah the hermit card okay but i'm definitely getting like people are they're watching you change in front of their eyes what's the four of wands and then yeah because i'm getting just three weeks ago you were the page okay i'm getting now a week later you're the fucking queen yeah four, what's the four of wands and the ten of wands so I'm getting like, yeah, men kind of feel like they have to compete with you or they have to compete for your attention. It just makes them just do shitty shit. Really getting um, Scorpio energy or you may like encounter a lot of men because, of course, if you are embodying that, if you are attracting that um, Mars energy, they may be extremely jealous or do shit like very aggressive like or like very passive aggressive men okay very passive aggressive men around you we have the four of wands yeah i'm getting world renowned or you're taking your place in the world or something is stamped yeah i'm getting something is stamped sealed deliver approved i'm getting it's being shipped off or something's on the way yeah yeah that was the seven of swords energy but i don't pull after the world card because that's a whole new cycle baby what's the ten of wands and the six of wands 
yeah, the pay you want. I'm also getting you're fine as shit. Like you're attractive as fuck. I'm also getting you're powerful. I'm also getting like someone here is like a wizard or some shit, but I'm getting like you're kind of like out of control a little bit. So yeah, that five of swords, king of swords, there actually may be someone coming towards you to help you control your energy or control your power because I'm getting like something's about to like spiral, like something's like going crazy. I'm getting you don't like you have a lot of energy in you, you don't know where to put it, so you're doing all this shit. I'm getting people love it, but I'm getting like you need to control, you have to control your energy because I'm getting like you're very skilled, but I'm getting like, oh, yeah, two of pinnacles. I'm getting multiple successes. People love you. But with the lovers and the magician, I'm getting like there's something that you're about to start doing. I'm getting two things. Something's about to be very successful. What's the five of swords? Yeah, seven of cups. Yeah, it's like men are kind of like, they're kind of confused. Like the crowd, the world loves you. But like when you get like interpersonal, people get more jealous of you because they don't understand how you're so gifted or skilled or they don't understand how the fuck you're doing this shit. Okay, what's the, um? I'm hearing like you're like two generations ahead of people or two steps ahead or something, or you have two people living in you. I'm literally getting that. With the two of pentacles and the two of and the um the lovers, this may sound so fucking weird, y'all, but I'm sorry I have to say it. I'm getting mediumship. Someone is a medium, okay? But I'm getting something about shape shifting or something about like, say for instance, this is gonna sound so weird. I'm gonna hold on. Yeah, I'm getting your powerful as shit too. So yeah, men just want to hold you back because you're gifted as shit, basically, or you are a competitor for their for them. Um, with this lovers card and two of pentacles, if you had a lover who died, I'm literally getting their energies or their gifts are being sent to you. Because anytime I see the pentacles, those are gifts. Those are gifts. So yeah, I'm getting like something about gifts. You I'm getting inheritance of gifts or some shit, or like pulling on gifts i don't know what the fuck this is but it's really weird or it's really like i'm getting never heard before like one of a kind like i'm hearing if you're a wizard or a magician i'm getting you are one of a kind okay, you may not even know how skilled or gifted you really are but i'm getting like something about pulling on spirits what's the seven of cups what's the seven of cups this is very interesting yeah, the tower, will of fortune. Yeah, you're gonna, there's something in your birth chart that explains this. Yeah, ace of pentacles, six of swords. Yeah, it's like every time you reach a new level, there's like the six of swords and the ace of pentacles. A new gift is inherited or being brought to you or being brought to the forefront of your consciousness. Okay, yeah, queen of cups, you know, water rules, the conscious the subconscious, things of that nature, okay? So pile number three, this is your pile. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, so sorry. All right, how the hi pile number four, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys picked pile number four, this is your pile. If you guys had a personal question for me, if you need a personal reading, go ahead and hit up my email. I will email you back as soon as possible, okay? So you guys picked the sun card. So first of all, people find you to be extremely influential, extremely um, powerful or popular, okay? I'm hearing the popular opinion or a popular, popular opinion. So I'm also getting like people usually gossip about you a lot or I'm hearing like a lot of times you are the topic of discussion in other people's lives here. I'm hearing like groups of people discussing you or, um, I'm getting something about a picture okay or a video all right this could even be like a child i'm hearing a son all right i'm also hearing something about july someone's due in july all right but we have the major arcanas to basically tell you guys um the overall energies for this topic and then we have the minor arcanas to tell you um smaller details and nuances and then we have the oracle cards so i'm actually going to read the oracle cards first so we have cycles okay so first of all what i'm getting um the opposite sex definitely feels like once you kind of get acquainted with someone you've been intimate with this person they kind of can't let you go here so i'm getting like you replay in people's minds here with the cycles card i'm definitely getting um um cancer energy with this and we have the moon here so yeah i'm hearing a luna or moon goddess but with 
with the moon here people find you to be extremely in intuitive i'm also getting divine feminine energy you are a divine feminine or you're very feminine people find you to be very feminine very beautiful very mystique or mysterious okay i'm also hearing something about your complexion is very beautiful also something about your hair someone has very dark hair or very um i'm hearing getting like someone's skin is dark but it's like almost it's very dark but a very deep purple basically what i'm hearing so dark skin that's almost like purple but i'm getting like someone this could even be your hair okay but the cat is black okay so i'm getting you have extremely beautiful smooth skin okay we have vision Okay, so I'm definitely getting you're very gifted. I'm definitely getting you're a moon child or a cultist. Like you could be like literally an occult child or you were like born into the occult or something, the industry. But I'm definitely getting you're beautiful. You've grown to be beautiful. I don't know who this is. I'm getting like a grandfather. I'm hearing channeling or speaking through. Your grandfather has been trying to speak through you, speak through you or speak through someone else to talk to you. I'm also getting something about a necklace. I'm also hearing something about your 16th birthday is very specific or was very significant. 16 through 17. Okay, but we have trapped and then we have choices. Yeah, right now you may be trapped in your choices. I'm getting something about cancer. Okay, this could be like someone having cancer or something. I'm getting cancerous. People may find that you're cancerous or people may even feel like you're toxic. But I'm getting it's because they just cannot get enough of you. Like people love the shit out of you. Or whoever this person is, they love you or you are loved. So yeah, we have the judgment card. Yeah, you, you're you going to get a call from someone. But I'm getting like whatever you're doing, I'm getting you're in your judgment. You're, I'm hearing your judgment. You're in your calling. So someone here is a speaker or someone here is a prophet. They're meant to tell the truth. They're meant to speak out on injustices, okay, or something. I'm also getting you're meant to speak to children or some shit. Something about children. Something about growing um, flowers or growing. Um, like you're, you're meant to like, I'm, he I'm hearing help the youth or help the aid and the growth of the youth hearing powerful youth all right or powerful children but yeah we have the judgment card in the moon yeah someone's being called to be an occultist or be in the cult or look at um mind you occult only means um hidden knowledges esoteric knowledges that most people don't know about okay doesn't mean anything fucking dark all right but this could definitely be like you're being called to do like look and speak this can even be like speak through people through these knowledges, okay? Okay, so I'm definitely getting the mysteries. I'm also hearing the mystery schools, okay? I'm getting you're tapping into your Akashic records, okay? I'm also getting like someone, they've been to the mystery schools. I'm getting in your dreams. I'm getting your, you've been like in your dreams, you've been, you go to the mystery schools or something. I'm also getting something about parallel universes or something. I'm sorry if that scared you. We have the lover's card here so yeah i'm getting there is a lover around you it could be a spirit guide a child okay or even a counterpart so i'm getting like um either a child or a counterpart that's oh um through speaking to you through the veil or trying to this could even be someone trying to speak through your child okay or someone i'm getting something about you or you were seized as a child or something this is kind of weird. I'm getting something about you and your divine counterpart, but I'm getting, yeah, masculine, feminine. But this, we didn't have the emperor and the empress, so this is on a massive level. So I'm getting, if you're a woman, you're working with divine, divine, um, feminine energies okay if you're a man right now you're working with masculine energies okay just period or you're working with this group or you're going to be working with this group divine you're going to be working with powerful energies just period yeah we have the hermit i'm also getting like you're choosing okay i'm also getting like if you're i'm getting something about twin flames i'm getting this pile for sure you guys have a twin flame getting like for sure okay i'm getting someone is an illuminist or someone is like very enlightened and someone else is like into the occult or into dark sciences or into like esoteric knowledges okay this could even be the union of like both i'm getting divine masculine feminines so i'm getting something about teaching okay or wisdom okay but i'm getting a very 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 significant path that you guys have with either a cancer we have virgo 
Gemini, so Apollo, the messenger. So what I'm getting is like people see you as a fucking a big deal or someone who is very divine like an angel okay so i'm getting like people are very lucky to have you okay so i'm getting like yeah i'm hearing archangel michael or people see you as like an angel and like the physical form almost because it's almost as like i don't know it's weird i'm getting like two different people that you play or you have two very strong energies in you okay but we have yeah apollo the messenger so gemini energy we have virgo energy we also have the sun here so power all right but um i'm also getting light or spark okay so leo energy leo um cancer cusp again okay um I don't think there's a Virgo Gemini cusp, but I'm definitely getting cusps. You guys are cusps. Most of you are going to be cusps. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have the queen of wands and the ace of swords. Yeah. You're going to find out the truth about yourself. Okay. I'm getting, you're very extremely powerful here. I'm getting the people that watch you. They know this, but you may not. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a fire. I'm getting your fire child or tasted by fire. But yeah, we have, so men consider you to be extremely powerful. Like people want to talk to you. They consider you to be very wise. They consider you to be very angry. I'm also getting Egyptian people people feel like you're Egyptian or some shit or you know this knowledge okay yeah my head is kind of hurting <coughs> excuse me I'm also getting something about like dazed or like passing out but I'm getting it's not actually being like passing out I'm getting like it's being seized you're about you're gonna be seized soon I'm getting this shit may scare the fuck out of you. I'm getting there's a new gift that you have or that's being presented to you. Okay. But yeah, we have the King of Cups. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Here's the gift. I'm getting something about the future. So this is a very strong gift. This is like something about like, like passing out and then being able to see like the future and then waking back up type shit. Like this is like weird ass energy. But yeah, something, this could have been something that you actually experienced from the age two to three years old yeah i'm getting by the age of eight it was pretty much gone but i'm getting like yeah you're about to come into contact with someone but people find you to be very attractive i'm also getting people love to communicate with you the opposite sex finds your your conversation to be extremely attractive okay people also find you to be extremely attractive because of what you know in the age that you're at here no matter what age you are okay but i'm also getting like you look you look very youthful even if you are of an older age you look extremely youthful i'm getting 30 30 years younger someone looks like 30 years younger i'm also getting like with the lover's card and the moon you make people feel extremely like um protected and like nurtured okay but i'm getting like true love you show people like kind of what true love or like you're the embodiment of this energies here so yeah the lover you're in the you're the embodiment of the lovers so true love okay love at first sight understanding Okay, but I'm definitely getting wisdom, wise men, women, they see you very, as someone very wise. Okay, I'm hearing wise one. So Sagittarius, you're, you come off kind of like as a Sagittarius. If you're not a Sagittarius, this is the energy that you kind of like exude. Okay, I'm hearing Sagittarius, Scorpio, cusp. Okay, I'm also hearing Aquarius, um, Capricorn. For pile number four, how does the opposite sex perceive you? We have the Princess of Wands. First of all, yeah, people see you as like a prodigy, okay? But I'm getting a gift from heaven. Yeah, nine of swords. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting like, first of all, you're attractive as shit. But I'm getting a prodigy. Yeah, nine of swords, you make people shook. Like, you got people shook or the opposite sex are, is usually like extremely shook by you. Yeah, four of wands, one more, and then the king of wands. I'm also getting like, say for instance, I'm getting this could be the position that you hold or whatever you do for work. You like shock the shit out of people. Yeah, five of swords. I'm getting you're always fucking right. Yeah, Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Okay, this could be wisdom. Okay, anything. But I'm getting a lot of people want to talk to you. But I'm getting because of this, you come off extremely attractive. Like, Five of Swords, people like want you in the worst way I'm hearing. What's the Princess of Wands? So very attractive person. Yeah, cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Princess of Wands and the Empress. I'm getting like drop dead gorgeous. Like you are drop dead fucking gorgeous. One more. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Okay, something about a picture, a new post. Okay, this could be a new look. Okay. <clears throat> What's the Nine of Swords? But I'm getting the people that you attract are usually like, they're on your level. Okay. 
Yeah, Queen of Wands. I'm getting you attract higher when you you feel more confident or you feel sexy. But yeah, I'm getting like the, the pe people find you attractive as shit. Like you fine as fuck. Like like you extremely sexy to people. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. One more or Three of Swords. I'm also getting what you do for work is extremely attractive to some people. Or they really admire you for it. Okay. I'm getting respect. I'm also getting someone's in the beauty industry or you could be joining the beauty industry very soon. Just the Princess of Wands and the Empress. I'm getting or I'm hearing something about the 1st of December or the 1st of January. Yes, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone is like or someone's leaving the beauty industry. So I'm also getting like if you're not in the beauty industry and you're extremely attractive, people feel like you should be in the beauty industry. You should be doing something else because I'm getting like with the King of Swords, Ace of Wands, like if your job involves you to be like extremely studious and shit like that i'm getting why like, people feel like you like you should be a model like someone may even offer you this job okay i'm getting be weary of that as well because that could be a, a form of silencing but yeah will of fortune and then the three of pentacles okay so yeah i'm getting something is gonna happen i'm hearing something about three months what's the eight of pentacles i'm hearing something sooner yeah, Justice, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands. I'm also getting you're a heartbreaker. People sh people see you as a heartbreaker. I'm also getting someone as a home wrecker. <laughs> someone else is a home wrecker. I'm, I'm not getting you try to. I'm getting like you have the ability like people will break up with someone that they really fucking love or they feel like they had a connection with because of you. I'm getting you are that fucking attractive. But I'm getting you vibrate extremely high. You're like on your own wave here. Okay. Also getting very feisty energy. What's the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups? Yeah, I'm getting it's something about like your aura, your disposition. It's like like you make people feel on fire type shit. Yeah, the Emperor. There they are. Ace of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting you guys are meant to be like in high vibrational like relationships. So like you guys are both meant to be wealthy and living good and shit. Okay, but yeah, I'm getting you're extremely t gifted and talented here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting like people are always shook by something. This could be like your finances or like I'm getting like you embody three different people. I'm getting the Empress. Okay, so the Empress of the Emperor. Okay, and then you're also the King or Queen of Pentacles, extremely wealthy, attractive. Okay, and then you're caring. So I'm getting like you just you're just a great person with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the lovers justice and then yeah the temperance that is that sagittarius energy it's like you're perfect yeah the high priestess and the four of swords yeah i'm getting a lot of men <clears throat> that are in relationships are secretly attracted to you i'm getting these people they love the shit out whoever they're with but they're like they're attracted to you i'm also getting like people are attracted to you they never even met you before or people like are in love with you they never even met it before, met you before yeah i'm getting nine of cups you're very dreamy like very dreamy i'm also getting something about your eyes i'm hearing angel eyes okay you could hide your eyes a lot i'm hearing something about a hat but yeah ace of swords yeah i'm also getting the way that you talk is very attractive to people i'm also getting the what you know your the way like your speech is going to pay you yeah king of pentacles damn I'm getting big money. Okay, one more. Yeah, the tower and then the four of pentacles, three of wands. Yeah, I'm getting hold on. There's about to be like a huge, like fucking something's about to happen here. All right, I'm getting in little to like four to eight hours. Okay, yeah, judgment. I'm getting a call or something's karmically meant to occur. All right, 